It's the Christmas season and shopping is a major moment for most households around the country. In Georgetown, vendors could say they are having a business Christmas extravaganza thanks to the officers and counselors at City Hall. Tom Clark, Royce and King explains. As what we've done as a city, we've opened up the road, we've given uh, some leeway to uh, street vendors and store owners uh, who want to come out and who want to do business for the festive season. And that is why you, you will see that some of our pav pavements and reserves are utilized by store owners, uh, vendors and so on. This is the festive season. It is the, the season of goodwill uh, towards all men. And let us be joyful and let us be happy. Vendors need not to feel too comfortable because as soon as the holidays are over, vendors will have to return to their boundary lines. As for the Kitty Market project, which has been promised to be completed before the Christmas season and other works around the city, Mr. King gave an update on how those projects are unfolding. The, market, uh, sorry, the Kitty Market project is on hold at the moment because we are trying to do some other works in various parts of the city. For example, we are trying to ensure the integrity of our drainage system. We've just had one of our uh, culverts collapse along the, uh, the Kitty, Kitty Public Road there. We are fixing that. Uh, we're building bridges. If you if you visit uh, all wise town around Sussex, you will see that some of our workmen there along with contractors, they're doing bridges and so on. So we've had to put a little pause on the kitty market so that we can get all the critical works done. But we're hoping to restart that early next year and we're hoping that somewhere before Easter, we'll be able to complete that uh, particular market so that we can uh, uh, allow the vendors to return their... The Marymount's Mall project was also given an update by the town clerk. Diamond Mall works are ongoing. As you know, we have the Presidential Park. We're working on that. We now are constructing our security huts there, and we have graded it to a level where the children and senior people can go there and play and have some recreation, particularly for the festive season. We hope to bring in some additional uh, play equipment over the next two days, trampoline, uh, swinger, slides for the children, so that everyone can have a really good time just around this particular time of the year and that they can begin enjoying the good life. Andrew Wicks reporting.